Hey, welcome back. My name is Stephen. I'm the man with a hat and I like to share my hobbies with you. Whether that be mudlocking just down the road in the river and the Victorian tip that's falling into the river as it gets washed away and falls in or whether it be in the London stinking Thames foreshore mud. Also metal detecting. Now, whatever I find in either of those two hobbies, I try and recycle it, upcycle, if you like, into something quite special. Whether that be coin rings, or whether I just melt down my odd scrap metals, especially my silver. I've just made this bar ingot today, and my intention with this is to make a really nice signet ring with a bezel, and a hammered coin sitting in the top. But that is a work in progress. This video is about metal detecting. And I go out with a friend and we decide both of us, him with the Equinox, me with the Deus, we are going to search with zero discrimination. Just to see what sort of signals we can hear and what we're gonna dig. To make it a little bit more interesting, we decided to see who could did, dig the best target find the best target and to make it a little bit more fun we thought we'd leave it to you to decide funny thing is i think i already know the answer to that so let's get on with the video you decide who has got the best target but i can tell you now what we found and though we didn't mention it on the video one of us found it we found out later what it really was and i'll tell you at the end of the video. You tell us who you think should have the find of the day. There we go, XP Deus. I'm going on to a standard program. Nothing flashy. I'm going on to Deus Fast, that's program number three, the set program. I've got, as you can see on there, number 11 full. What I've done is I've saved it into a new slot and put the dais fast onto full tones instead of three tones and just saved it in my slot. And there's my X35 11 inch. Um, what do you want today? Uh, I'm going with field one program on the Equinox. As you can see, there's no discrimination, but I do silence the tones up until about zero, maybe. Um, I can beep anything that's above zero will beep and I'll dig it. Good. <laughs> well, we're both doing zero discrimination today then. Mm -hmm. I just won't hear the Big yep. obvious. Oh, that sounds good. It's showing a 78. But it doesn't sound like silver. Actually, if I walk in a circle around it, it's... It's now sounding quite bad. If it's a bullet, I'll see it. Ooh, what's that there? Is that a bullet? Mm. Oh, it's a piece of machinery, isn't it? Oh, is it a tap barrel oh, tap? Yeah. That's a key, yeah. no? Is it a key? No, it can't be. No, it looks more like... Oh, it is a key. It looks like an old key if it is. It's not, it can't be. Is it? Well, that's good. That's not a medieval key, though, is it? Surely not. I don't think that's medieval, the look of it. <laughs> Might be. Let's have a look. What is that? It looks damn mm. old. That's not a remains of a thread on the top there, is it? I thought it was, no, it just looks like grooves, man. That's an old key, man, it couldn't be Roman. That key, is that. a key. <laughs> wow. And it's got the patina and everything on it. Steven! What? Come have a look at this. What? That's a little bit higher than before, 21, 22. Oh, that's <laughs> definitely diggable. Weaker. Could be the other part of the key. Yeah, maybe. Come on then, got you on video. Don't dis don't disappoint us. <laughs> don't trowel it. Oh, in the plug? Yep. Right there. Cool. Good luck. Ooh, what horse the heck's breath. that? It's like a little horse brass of some sort, maybe. Oh, yeah, it's a brass horse brass. An adornment from a horse harness. 
He's on another blooming dinger. Is it gone? <clears throat> Running away from me. Right, what's the compo today then? It can't just be anything up versus. If you're going to do that, it's both signals, isn't it? But we should do something a bit more interesting. Um, I tell you what we'll do. <clears throat> we'll let the viewers decide. What we'll do is we'll both take each other's best find. Yeah. So far, yours is the key, and I've yet to find anything. And we'll put a poll on the video so they can decide who's got the best find. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. We'll do that. So you'll be deciding. Keep watching, and we'll show you what we find. I've uh, got one here. Now I've got to find it. It's out of the hole, I think. Oh, hang on. <laughs> it's a four hole button! Yay! This is just how I found it in the plug. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Is yeah, it's a button. It's not a Celtic uh, silver unit, is it? Oh, I hope not. <laughs> well, I hope it is actually. Yeah. Because if there's one, there's more. Feels like a button. Ah, bronze back. It's a button. Oh. I think I found some silver. Well, I'm pretty sure I can see a lion on this, mate. Oh. Like the hole marks there. Oh, that looks like silver to me. See the hole marks? There's just little indications of a, of a lion or a hole mark somewhere there. Yeah, and because it's a pinhole in it, yeah. I know what that is. Do you know what it is? Is it, is it off a walking cane or something? Yes, yeah, a feral. A feral, yeah. Yep. It's a feral off so a cane. If it been off the bottom, then it might have pulled off the bottom a bit or something. Could be. Because yeah, they're, the they're only lightly tacked on. Yeah. I've got another button, but this one's quite a nice one, look. Oh. That's cool. Look at that. I said to Neil, oh, I don't like the sound of that button. He said, no, dig it. So I, I dug it and it was a little buckle. It's a little bit off shape. That's not totally silly. Yeah, it's a bit wider at the bottom. A buckle! I don't think I've ever found one like that before. Aha! Looks like I found a clock key. Uh, that's difficult to say. A, a clock key. Well, look at that. I'm always finding those. Little padlock front, which has come loose. Probably from a strong box. Homemade brownies. And all the old sticky and fudgy. Oh, yeah. Lovely little bit. Thank you. Oh, that looks nice. Size does not matter with these, mate. Looks lovely. Where's yours? Hmm. Tastes nice. <coughs> right, cake mates, and your cake hole. And your cake hole. We've not found much yet today. And I think he's winning that lovely key he found. So, get out of my shop. So we're going to have to go back and see if we can find any more. Another piece of a strong box padlock. Flipping it. I hope I find the strong box contents. It's brass from a horse harness. Very common. Aha, my first musket ball of the day. I do like musket balls. There's another musket ball. And you can see the casting hemisphere on there and what's left of the sprue which was cut off with a knife rather than nipped. Well we've called it a day. I got something there from the fire brigade, a bit of a spoon, various bits and pieces. You've seen most of these. I've thrown away all the junk and really I've got nothing there I can declare as being my best find of the day. So. I'm showing you my collection. I haven't shown you all the buttons. I've thrown most of those away. But probably that little buckle is my favourite piece today. But a couple of horse brasses and let oh, I don't know what we've got here. Let me show you what Neil has got. A few best bits. Best bits here I'd say. Piece of silver there from what I think is a walking cane. Yeah, walking stick of feral. Horse brass. Uh, I think we've got the 1901 
Edward the Seventh farthing there, maybe. Yeah. Um, could be a possible rose farthing there. Possible. And then Victoria. You can't claim that because you can't ID it. No, Victoria half penny, I'd say that is, but my find of the day, I'm going to go with that. Is it, yeah. Is it, it's an old key from a strong box or something. Yeah, okay. Bit of silver there, I think that's probably the find, but, but uh, well, that's probably going to be the winner in my opinion. But let's see what you think. You've seen my little cluster, you've seen his little cluster. So you tell me who you think has had the best day today. Well, what a great day we had, and there's no competition really, is there? So I'm going to ask you now, leave a comment, who do you think had the find of the day? Yeah, I know, I know, I know. It's usually Neil or Gary with two R's that leaves me standing, leaving me to play catch up, which on this particular video I didn't do. But we had a great cake break. I loved that cake. He made it, and it's a vegan one surprised me really but I quite like vegan cakes anyway enough of cakes so I'm going to reveal now what we actually did find because I didn't mention it on the video and it was quite a long time afterwards after doing some research that I found out what it really was and it was a Roman key so that's about 2,000 years you know one or 200 years either side but it's a Roman key what a fabulous find and it goes to show that on zero discrimination, Equinox or Deus or whatever you've got, you can find some really good signals. Just listen and learn the signals. So I thank you very much for taking part in that. If you did vote and left a comment. Now I did mention at the top of the video that I take all my scrap, especially in this particular case, my silver scrap. And I melt down, this was um, just a little silver sheet that I cast and started to roll and this is going to be a lovely signet ring with a hammered coin in the top and I am filming it like I said but that's for a project coming very soon so if you've decided that you enjoyed the video and you're still watching then if you're still watching you must have enjoyed it please now consider subscribing but if you do click the bell icon so that when I show you the ring that I'm making from my scrap and how to do it, at least you won't miss it because you'll be notified. So keep safe, happy hunting, and I'll see you on the next video. Stephen is the man with the hat and the metal detector. Whoa, whoa. Walking the land, he's a treasure collector. Stephen digs stuff up and pimps it up so you guys can wear it.